My name is John Jacoby. Uh, I am the project lead for Buddy Press, BB Press, uh, one of the original founders of WordCamp Miami with David Bissett and everybody else 10 years ago. Uh, I no longer live in Miami, but happy to be back. I've been here every year for 10 years. Super awesome. Uh, this talk uh, was originally like an hour and a half long. We're going to do it in 15 minutes. So if you want to be friends on Twitter, GitHub, at JJJ. My blog, which is mostly pictures of my dog and rants about WordPress, is JJJ.blog. Here we go. This is what WordPress used to look like before it was WordPress. 2003, this was B2 Cafe Log. There was no WordPress. WordPress did not exist. Uh, this website, I think, is still up, and it still looks like this exactly the same as it did in 2003. Um, Quotes from all sorts of all, all over the place, so you can read them very quickly. I'm going to cruise through them because I think I have like 230 slides. Uh, but uh, you get the point. Blogging was kind of starting to be a thing. People were starting to want a website for themselves, posting images and kind of going crazy trying to figure out how to do it. It wasn't real easy back in 2003. Uh, but by then, uh, the B2 software was kind of dormant. The developer of it had kind of disappeared. The project was still alive on SourceForge, which is kind of like the old school GitHub, which some of you may remember. Uh, but B2 had no activity. The original author was gone. Uh, and so what happened was uh, everyone got worried. Everyone that was using B2 was like, well, what am I going to do with my blog? What is, there's no software updates. I'm kind of out of luck. Uh, and so Matt and Mike Little, Matt Mullenweg, Mike Little, uh, basically put out a comment in the B2 forums that said, if you're serious about forking this and maintaining it, I'm with you. Let's go do it together. Let's figure it out. Uh, and that's essentially how WordPress was, uh, was born. And this is what WordPress.org looked like. Beautiful, right? Elegant typography, amazing logo. Look at how gorgeous WordPress.org was in 2003, right? Uh, and eventually, it got a little bit better. It got drop shadows on the sides. Ooh. Sidebar eventually showed up. Man, we're evolving the web, right? Uh, it got longer and longer, and eventually stuff started to move around a little bit. Uh, kind of crazy, but then we ended up with this style for a while on WordPress.org. You can kind of watch it start to take shape a little bit. You can watch the styles change. Look at where we started, and then eventually where we ended up. The images change. The header images change. The, we've got very grayish. I learned that's a word, grayish. It's like beige, but gray. This is, everything's grayish. Uh, you know, different images uh, and everything else. I kind of stopped here because it kind of started to look the same. I mean, we have a new homepage that's kind of beautiful since WordCamp US last year, but y'all can just go to WordPress.org and see that. It's like nothing that's all that fascinating. But the original version of WordPress was uh, 0.72, which means very little, right? Uh, but this is what we were working with back then. Uh, you can kind of see pieces of it, right? Like if you think of WordPress like you're familiar with, you see some stuff that kind of makes sense, posts and edit and stuff is kind of the same, but this is not the WordPress that you guys are installing today. This is a completely different thing. Uh, and it dropped you straight into posts. There was no dashboard, there was no nothing. Like this was your WP admin. This is what you saw. And I think even originally, like the rename happened, but uh, for a long time, or like from that first version, uh, everything was prefixed B2. It wasn't WP, right? So you bring the code over from B2 Cafe Log, and uh, the code was completely different. There's a whole big rename that happens uh, and everything. Uh, and this was the theme that WordPress came with. You installed WordPress, this is what you got. This was your blog. Uh, kind of a port from B2 with a, little, a few little tweaks here and there, but uh, WordPress didn't really have theme support originally. Kind of nutty, right? Like economies are built the entire communities, businesses are built on WordPress themes at this point, but originally it didn't have any of that functionality at all. Uh, the uh, WP admin continued to evolve. We cleaned some things up, we cut some stuff out. Note that there's still no visual editor yet. There's no tiny MCE, uh, there's no Gutenberg, there's no anything fancy. You had a text area and some buttons, and uh, that was what you did. It made the bold tag for you revolutionary, right? Uh, and, you know, some things changed. We had taxonomies, tags, we had categories, some stuff started to get introduced. Uh, but it's kind of ugly, right? 
This is not super cute in any way. It's still very grayish, but the theme was still the same. Nothing fancy. By 1.5, though, uh, UX started to be a thing. Like People liked it, but hated it, and complained about it a lot. Uh, and so 1.5 was like the most user-centric release ever. Uh, and uh, this is what your dashboard looked like. <laughs> so there was nothing there. Uh, but cleaned up the UI a lot. There's a like, legitimate toolbar. There's starting to be the semblance of a navigation at the top. Uh, and believe it or not, even though it's kind of not the prettiest thing, adoption was like on the uprise. Like, people actually liked using WordPress, even though it was you know, not real beautiful. Uh, you can kind of see the pieces, again, start to fit together. Uh, and this is when themes kind of started to be a thing in 1.5. You could pick a theme, and you could install a theme and make WordPress look like this. Kubrick. Does anybody remember this? Who, who remembers this? OK. Someone needs to make a Gutenberg version of this. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be cool? Give me a retro Kubrick theme that's blocks and fancy, I don't know. I still like it. Uh, WordPress 2, 2005, uh, it starts to be designy a little bit. There starts to be people contributing to the dashboard area. And that's, this is when blue kind of first came in to the whole thing. Uh, the same but different, blue. All right. And believe it or not, I went through and installed every version of WordPress to get these screenshots. <laughs> Started from the beginning. Installed the next one, installed the next one, installed the next one. Um, we have a posts list where you can see all of your posts. Uh, this is kind of the beginning of list tables, so you can see where a table starts to look like we are used to today. Before that, we didn't really have this. Uh, the introduction of meta boxes that you're kind of familiar with now, this is the first version of those collapsed boxes on the left, a place to write your posts uh, in the middle. And uh, it starts to take shape a little bit. There's a preview instead of the visual editor. So you can't really, vi there's no visual editor, but you can preview what you've written in WP Admin, which has kind of gone away. There's a post preview, it's different now, but you know, it's there. And uh, the custom fields, meta metadata, is the first time that you're able to see any of that stuff. Uh, so it's kind of hard to believe that none of this existed uh, in the very beginning. This is all stuff that had to get bolted on. And uh, the options panel now looks a little bit more like what we're familiar with. It looks more like options, kind of like we have today. And uh, the theme got screenshots, so you can kind of see a preview of what it is that you're about to activate, which was, you know, before you just activated it and like, oh, okay, I guess that's what my website looks like now. Here you have uh, a screenshot to see what it is that you're about to do. Uh, but we still had good old Kubrick. Uh, we did have the color picker so that you could pick the background color. It was kind of the first theme-related setting was being able to, aside from sidebars, but being able to pick the gradient of your blue or orange was nice. Uh, and then about 2006 is really when WordPress MU, multi-site now, uh, and BB Press uh, really started to become things that powered everything. So uh, Matt has famously said if he could rewrite WordPress from scratch, it would look a lot like BB Press. Uh, eventually, we turned BB Press into a plugin and all that really cool old code, which is still public if you want to find it. We did abandon it all and we turned BB Press into a plugin. Uh, but there's old history and really cool stuff in the original version of BB Press also. BB Press is our bulletin board sister project to WordPress, which is what we use to power all of the support forums on WordPress.org, BuddyPress.org, BB Press.org, all of the international forums. Uh, the iOS forums, the Android app forums, all of those are BB Press. They still use WordPress for you know site-related things, but the forums themselves use BB Press, bulletin board, BB Press. Uh, in 2007, the admin finally got refreshed. It looks no different to me, but apparently it got refreshed. And uh, but you did have a dashboard, you did have a feed. There was stuff starting to come alive in the dashboard for the first time. And everything else kind of looks the same to me. A little bit more blue, but kind of looks the same. Uh, post preview was an iframe embedded in the post. So you could write your post, embed it in here. You'd see it live as you typed, and it would refresh. Kind of neat. Uh, uploads media became a thing. Options looks the same. Dot, dot, dot. 
Uh, yeah, 2.3, kind of the same. We're going to keep cruising through because I've got five minutes left. And uh, here is like the first actual WP admin redesign where it starts to look a little bit different. Flat, colors, contrast, uh, but still kind of, you know. This is when I think uh, word, people started to take WordPress seriously. There was organization, there was structure, pages, posts, plugins, themes, flexibility, post preview. Uh, publishers could write long posts and see them as they were writing them. Previous to this, none of that technology existed. So it was kind of, you know, crazy times. Uh, and, you know, there's a picture of Paul the dog. He's pretty cute. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can kind of start to see it take shape. But Kubrick was still the default theme back then. Same old thing, same old thing. 2.7, usability testing, like actual usability testing. Jen Milo did actual tests and said, everyone universally hates WP admin. No one can find anything. No one can publish anything. Eyes can't find anything. Accessibility is not good. And so we ended up with uh, this. Looks kind of familiar, right? Menus are collapsible, but up and down, not side to side. Uh, we have an actual dashboard now with some counts, some things, some status updates of what it is that's in WordPress. Still very grayish, but you know. Uh, screen options became a thing. Post rows, list table became a thing. Visual editor is for sure in and kind of high priority all over the editing experience. We had a quick menu, which has kind of gone away now that we have the admin bar. Um, post revisions came in, so this is what the original version of revisions looked like if you had drafts and revisions and you're saving updates to posts. You actually had a side-by-side -side diff. This is a little bit different now, but under the core of it is kind of still the same. And more media, still Kubrick though. Kind of theme preview looks a little bit nicer, but uh, this was like a big deal in 2.7. This was like the time when people took WordPress actually seriously, because the menus made more sense, things were more organized, plugins made more sense, they had places to live, uh, and WordPress kind of started to become super kind of useful for the first time in a while. Uh, but for a while, it continued to stay almost exactly the same. Revisions, everything else, mostly identical. Uh, it wasn't until 2010 that we started getting new default themes. We had some, Google Gears was in there for a while. That eventually died and went away. Uh, we had a big intro blob for like explaining what WordPress was and before we had the credits page and the about page. Uh, but there are lots of things that changed, like trying to make WordPress more user friendly. And uh, some of them were good and some of them weren't all that good. Uh, but otherwise you can see that WordPress again stayed mostly the same. It was the intro to menus. 2010 was kind of a crazy year. Uh, Multi-site got merged in. Custom post types happened. Uh, custom taxonomies. Uh, lots of activity. WP Admin had actual, like, lots of accessibility testing for contrast issues, for keyboard users, for non-mouse users, and on and on and on and on and on. So WP Admin, huge leaps forward for lots of different audiences. Uh, and this is the first time that we had a different default theme, 2010. And from then on, the naming conventions, 11, 12, and so on. Uh, but it was kind of nice to have a refreshed uh, menu-based theme uh, because you could kind of start moving stuff around in a way that you weren't able to before. Uh, and uh, come 3.1, uh, things got to be mostly the same. Uh, but I'm going to bounce ahead on my last minute. This is my favorite design of WordPress personally. I don't know why. It just speaks to me in some way. I like the flatness, but I like the lines. I like the contrast. This is probably my favorite one. Uh, simple. Shortcut menu is nice. Uh, 2013 theme. That's kind of nuts, right? I guess I'll just pound right through all of this because you'll get the idea. Uh, until we eventually, media, media library is a critical point. This has kind of stayed the same since media went in, in 3.5. And uh, let's go to, I'm going to skip ahead to the, this looks familiar, right? This is like the WordPress you all know. This is where we're pretty much at today. But it took us 15 years to get here, uh, is kind of the point of, my, of this entire talk. Um, there's a gentleman by the name of uh, George Cordes that in 2013 or 14 came up with some flatter, neater, transparent future ideas for what WP Admin might look like. I thought it was really nice and kind of well thought out. It looked pretty clever and uh, 
WordPressy to me, so I included these here as like, think of where we could go eventually. We're focusing on Gutenberg and crazy editing stuff, like that's fine, but I kind of thought this was nice. And uh, that's it, 15 minutes, done. Lightning talk, not kidding. Rip through it, all 15.